Chao. So, for those that ain't familiar, this was the third fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. And uh, this fight was epic. Um, first of all, let me give a shout out to those up in the building. J-Ron Poole was good, was good. Barika, what's up, sis? Terrence Walton, Naya, was good, everybody? I appreciate y'all for coming through. Um, we up late. The fight ended. I did watch the BMF so I could come through with my first reaction review. And for those that are members to the channel and help to make it possible, we did watch this fight in Discord live as it happened. So membership does have its privileges. Uh, we all put together a couple dollars here and there, and I end up buying the fight and everybody that chipped in. We live stream, watch the fight in Discord as it happened, and it was worth it. Tyson Fury, although doesn't look like the better boxer with his shirt off compared to Deontay Wilder, who came through chiseled, looking like a beast, Tyson Fury got them hands, I'm telling you. And uh, he beat Deontay Wilder, and pretty much he's beat him every fight. The first fight was a draw because Deontay did knock him down twice in the last uh, couple rounds of the first fight, which pretty much made it a draw. But if he didn't do that, he would have lost that fight. It did go the distance. The second fight, he got bulldozed by Tyson Fury. This third fight, he came out. He looked really good. He was using the jab, sticking that body, beating up that muffin top. And it looked like it was going to go pretty good for him. But then that's why you have to have a lot of fights and have that muscle memory. As things started not to go as well, he went back to looking to land that bomb. And he couldn't land it. And Tyson Fury was able to beat him. Now, Tyson Fury dropped Deontay Wilder, I think, in the third round. Wilder got up in the fourth round. And instead of, trying to use that round to get energy back. He came for him, and he dropped Fury twice in that round, and it was a good one. But Fury got up, and he ended up dropping Wilder two more times and pretty much ending the fight and destroying him. So with that being the said, Wilder didn't use the, the jab like he should have, stick and move and get away from him, and he allowed Tyson Fury to continuously hold him, lean on him, put him in the headlock. Uh, it was just horrible what he allowed him to do. He laid his ass out, and in the end, Tyson Fury looked like the better boxer. Truth be told, there's no reason for it to be a four fight other than it being a money grab because there's no bigger name out there. And really, Tyson Fury, even though he got laid out like a cheap suit but he in the morning, laid out, he got back up and he, he wore his ass out. Deontay Wilder did gain some more weight. He was 238. Tyson Fury was like 278. So he was the bigger boxer. Deontay Wilder didn't even want to shake this man's hand when the fight was over. And it was pretty much, he got molly whopped. Okay. I got my boy Brillo in the building. What's good, man? What's good with you? What's up? What's up? Did you check out the fight? Nah, I didn't get a chance to check out the fight. I was listening to y'all. I was at a little wedding reception. Oh, so, okay. uh, yeah. Yeah, but damn, I seen why well, I seen I seen your message like, but I knew this was gonna happen, Jay. Like I love Wilder, of course I rooted for him, but he just don't got those skills, man. You know, my weak year, you know, and um, I'm just ready for October the ninth just to display it. And, and uh, he's just talking about what he thought he was gonna do. So <laughs> anyway, he got his ass whooped. They say they took him to the hospital after the fight. Um, they need to take him to the morgue because he was dead on arrival. I mean, 
It's so sad. I wanted Wilder to win. He cannot beat Tyson Fury. He doesn't have boxing skills, man. See, the thing is this. Sometimes you're so good that you're bad. And Wilder has been so good at knocking everybody out so fast. He never had to go in deep waters. I never had to never had to show to show that talent. Always never had to learn how to box. And uh when you go up against somebody that can take your best punch for when you're a puncher like him, for one, that's demoralizing. Cause you have a punch nobody could take, and that's all you ever needed. Now you got somebody that can take that best punch. But what else you got? You don't have any boxing skills really. Um, and Wilder was in trouble. He didn't know how to dance. He didn't know how to stick and move. He didn't know how to get away. He kept, every time they clinch, he kept putting his head down. Tyson Fury will put him in the headlock and lean on him, which when that happens, what people don't understand is that your stomach is bent. When person, a human being takes a breath in and out, your stomach goes up and down. Well, you use that in order to get full breaths of oxygen. If you bend over, now you can't get a full deep breath and breathe properly. And then if you got somebody heavy leaning on you, that makes it even more difficult. And Tyson Fury, 40 pounds heavier, putting him in the headlock, leaning on him. He never was able to regain his breath, took away his stamina. And in the end, took away his heart. He beat him, bust his head, bust his ear again. He gonna have that brother death up in here, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he got a fine ass wife. That was embarrassing to see your boo get beat up like that. Um, I feel bad for Deontay Wilder. They lost, so he lost in the 11th round. Look how he dropped him, man. And when he dropped him, when he didn't get up, he dropped him. He fell on his face damn near. So, you know, that was a that was a bad part when he fell on his face. When you fall on your face, you're pretty much done. It was on his shoulder slash face. But when you do that, like what man wouldn't try to put their hands down to stop from falling on your face if you fall? And uh, the ref stopped the fight because it was done. It was a good fight. It was worth it to to watch on pay per view. I got my money's worth, and uh, we had a great time on Discord watching the fight. Man, it was really good, man. Um, I think that uh, who's next is uh, I want to see Tyson Fury beat Usyk and uh, be the unified champ, man. And we'll see what happens. The only person that can beat Fury is Fury right now. He go ahead and get some of that cocaine, man. And uh, he might want to party, get that, get that book of sugar, man, like he did before and say, forget it. I'm done. So uh, I don't know, man. What's up? We'll see. Um, Anthony Joshua, he blew his shot, man. So. Yeah, Joshua is like damn near like Fury. I mean, like, not Fury, like uh, Wilder damn near. Yeah, they are. They were supposed to fight each other because they are perfect matchup. Neither one of them are great boxers. They both can be dropped. They both got a great, you know what I'm saying, knockout shot. And they were They're both the same both, fighter. They the exact same fighter. The exact same fighter. Both of them started boxing at a late age. They were supposed to fight each other. He took on Tyson Fury. That was a mistake. That was a mistake for Wilder and his camp. They should have fought that dude, man. So they should have dodged him until he got his skills up. Should have dodged him, period, for the rest of his career. Because <laughs> he ruined his career, basically. Because now Deontay Wilder is no longer a title contender. That's how bad he got beat. He's no longer a title contender. This dude has to fight. Amateur dudes. Plus, he's 35 years old. So now Father Time is ticking. He only got, at best, at best five years. Then he's 40. You know what I mean? And that's at best five years. Truthfully, 
he probably only got two years left to fight at most. Um, he done, Jay. That's why I, I said he ended his career tonight, basically. He, he ended yeah. that man's career tonight, so. Damn. I wanted to have a black heavyweight champ unified. Yeah, that's all. why I was rooting for him. I'm, yeah. I'm so glad I ain't bet. Somebody almost got me to bet, Jay. <laughs> I almost lost some cheese. I, I'm so glad I didn't do it because I knew, I knew he wasn't gonna win, man. Even though I wanted him to win. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. So yeah, that was messed up uh, that it didn't work out for him, man. I feel bad for the brother, man. So it is what it is. Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.